being a genuine. My power is out, but me and my dad are about to go on a little quest. Hey, dad, say hi to the camera, to the people, to the 888 family of yeah. abundance and love. That's what we're calling you now. And anyway, I'm gonna show you guys the baller wall real quick. The ball wall, the ball wall. You got Slammy, Benj, Nick, Sky, El Woulda Do Rag, Eyes Over the Hills, Chips, Flamingo, and Hyatt. Thank you all for being ballers. Appreciate it. Anyway, you're going to meet my friend Owen. He's like a crazy musician that's definitely going to make it. And I'm just here from the beginning. And you guys are going to be too. We have a grow light that we're going to give to Owen. Yes. To grow special plants. Yeah, special plants. Special plants. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real, man. Like, I was having a lot of fun earlier. I was like, man, I wish Ryan was here. I'm happy to be here, man. Dude, I don't You're gonna be like, what the fuck are you doing here, dude? <laughs> so what? Uh, It'll make their day more interesting. I know. I cannot wait for you guys to meet Owen. Owen's an absolute homie, right, Dad? Yeah, I like Owen, man. He's a good guy. Dude, Owen's the best. His music, fire. He's he chill like, as hell. He's just a good dude. He's just a good dude all around. Being a genuine human being living your life doing the best you can and just being a good person I think that's really all that matters you uh, know I agree it's like, it just really it is a it's just nice it feels good uh, oh god go ahead and shrug I'm gonna rub my engine loudly so they know we're here here's Owen's house Is Owen here? Yeah. We have a gift for you guys. Yo. Hey, come on in. He brought his dad too. What up? Y'all coming in or what? Sure, sure. We have a gift. You brought what your dad, bro. I need a light. I think you might want that. I don't need light eventually. This is Owen. I hyped you up a lot for the vid. That's his present. How you doing, Owen? How you feeling? Pretty fucking good. This is kind of random, isn't it? <laughs> I got some free fucking weird shit. I'm so tired today, man. Honestly, I've been really tired the past like two days because I I just put so much energy and effort into my videos and like into my community and stuff. Like I'm putting so much of my soul in myself that it's like pretty exhausting for me. Not gonna lie, but it's worth it, you know. I'll always put in the work for you guys because that's all I can do, you know. That's the best thing I can do. It's put all my work into my content. Cause that's how I help the most people. So yeah, I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. And I hope you guys keep doing what you're doing. Cause you're all amazing. All right, I'll drive. Yeah. Yeah. This, it's gonna be hard to record if I'm driving. Dude, that was weird though, that like the power went out when I called Owen. And it came back on as soon as we arrived. It was a miracle. Yes. And miracles are common. You, <laughs> you just have to notice them. Amazing song that's ever been created. For real. Or, or, or I was just meant to record right now because I wouldn't have made a video today. But then the power went out and it caused me to want to go to see Owen. But like, what are the odds though that it went out? Like, we randomly think about. Are you camera shy? Yeah, a little bit. But like, uh, like going to Owen's place and then power goes out immediately when I haven't done that in like six, seven, eight months. And then boom, we arrive, boom, power back on. That is bizarre. It's a miracle. Yeah? Christmas miracle. Yeah. I feel like miracles always happen, we just never notice them. 
Yeah, like, makes sense. Just the fact that we have warmth we every it's day. Like an automatic, like, system Dude, away. even having warmth and food every day is a miracle. Dude, I love food. And we never even stop to appreciate it. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Oh, that's too small. Well, you can put the um, amp, right? How you feeling, bro? <laughs> oh, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, look at this backpack, bro. Bro's definitely a ganja wizard. Dude, I like your boots. Thanks, man. I forgot the time. <laughs> I think I got a Another idea. When you make your peanut butter jelly sandwich, do you play the song? It's like peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly. With a baseball bat. With a baseball bat, right? Yeah. Do you play that every time you make your PB and J? I do. And whenever I play that song while I make it, I swear the sandwich tastes better. I swear to God, it's real. You may be right. Like just the fact that you're listening to that song while I'm making it makes it so iconic that when you're eating it, you can taste the song. Maybe that, maybe that's just me. Yeah, <laughs> my sense of hearing is too developed. I'm like hearing my sandwich while I'm eating it. No, bro, you're delusional. That's what that is. Fuck you. You're, you're making world? yourself believe that Listen, it tastes better. Delusion. That in delusion your... is good if it makes you grow as a person. But my hands are cold as fuck right now. If I were to tell myself they're warm, they're tell warm. Them. Literally in my video the other day, I said my hands. They are would cold, not get warm. And then I imagined that they're warm and they felt warm. Mm -mm. It's real, bro. You gotta believe, man. You gotta believe Wim Hof. He climbed Mount Everest in a pair of shorts. I got any peanut butter on my face? Not anymore. You got it all. Who's Do Wim I Hof? have any peanut butter on my face? No, bro. <laughs> Did you eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? <laughs> no. <laughs> what the fuck? Man? God damn. This is hard to get out of. <sighs> yeah. That feels good. It's like wintergreen fresh. Oh man, that was a whole lot of vocabulary you just used. Like Win wintergreen <laughs> fresh. <laughs> oh, oh, dude! Damn, bro. Right to me, amigo. He's got like snow chains. <laughs> That's fucked up. This is the true Gonzo wizard. Do you like the name Gonzo wizard? Yeah. Reminds me of Mac Miller. Reminds me of Gando. It also just reminds me of myself because I like to smoke and cast spells. Really, man? Yeah, bro. Magic's real as fuck. Real as fuck, bro. I'm, I've am literally been casting some spells for your music. Really? Yeah, bro. I'm looking out for you, dog. I got you. That is amazing. We made it home and the power is back. What a miracle. Oh, what a miracle. Damn, bro. Oh, I didn't realize you were on your tiffy toes. I saw you're tall as fuck out of nowhere. Fucking feet are freezing, man. Don't worry, baby, I got you. I'll heat up a warm bath for your toes. <laughs> what up, gang gang? The ball, the wall, the ball is the ball shitty, wall. binge, nick, sky, and that's right. The ball wall. At Witterack. At Wit Durag. El Durag. At Wit Durag. Eyes over the hills, chips, flamingo. Every day is a gift from your higher self. Hitten, stay stoic. Hell yeah, boy. Is that how you say that? that word I always that? thought it was heightened, but I don't know because I've Dude, never heard G it. H. Yeah, but there's Sun. like different countries say shit different, bro. Oh, that's like a different country kind of word. I feel like it probably is. I've never seen anyone named Heighten in America. It's a name, though? Yeah, it's a name. Those are all names, they're like usernames. All these people gave me five dollars. <laughs> oh, you know really? crazy. I never added Daniel. Oh, and this is this is what they said. And Daniel, you definitely go on the ball wall. Found it. Let's go. Definitely adding Daniel, bro. Daniel gave me a hundred dollars and told me to tattoo his name on my leg. Really? So yeah, I'm gonna do it. I have all my shit. You got a tattoo shit? Yeah. It no, I don't. Work? I don't have to. He just wanted. He was like, bro, if I give you a hundred dollars, will you tattoo and he my gave name? You hundred bucks. Yeah. So. Can I tattoo Daniel on your leg? If you want, I was going to do it though. Oh, okay. Yeah, you do that. I also want to write 888family, which is the name of my server. It's like Juice World, man. <laughs> Does he have some shit like that? 999. That's crazy. 
this is where all the magic happens, boys. Right here. Just sit right in this chair and click buttons all day and magic shit happens. This is my magic moon water. It's pretty cool. Nasty as fuck. Bro. Why don't you throw a roach in there, man? A roach into the moon water? <laughs> the fucking moon water. I'll put a crystal on that shit for real. See what it is. Ooh, this one means balance. It it symbolizes a yew tree. This is now the water of balance. See that shit? Boom. Are you like right Yeah, I am. What's up? Is it like top secret? Yeah. Okay. Consistency is really most important. Well, quality is most important. Consistency is second most important. define abundance is like any good thing so the warmth in the room when you're eating food and you're abundant you have food when you have health when you're taking a warm shower you know like all those good things that's abundance right so having an abundance mindset is you start to think about all the good things you have more and notice them and be like damn bro like imagine i didn't have this imagine i didn't have this shower imagine i didn't have this bed or this blanket and you just really start to appreciate everything you have and by doing that, something will click in your heart and it will feel full and you will feel like content with life because you realize you have so much. And because you're putting energy into it, it actually manifests more of that feeling into your life. So suddenly you will be having more and more abundance and more and more of everything you love. And now that you have the abundance mindset and you're noticing and appreciating it, it causes a snowball effect because it just like goes back and forth where you keep getting more and more you're putting energy into it and then you appreciate it because you have the right mindset and then you get more and more and then basically your life just takes off i want to be on the roof turns into a dream okay why is it gonna go on the roof <laughs> if you really like appreciate it more and more will come in bro everything you desire i do it at the end of the day bro talking about snow he's like dude you have like the strongest roof in the park bro but yeah he's only like scooping this one just trying to test the durability that's cool he's got me stressed out now what my desires like abundance growth intuition health enlightenment love like all the things i really want and what i want out of life and then in order to get it, I have to have the strength and the willpower and the creativity and clarity and protection and goals and put the work in. So this page is like me putting my work in and then me getting my gift in return. And the work for me is making the videos and spreading as much love as I possibly can. Because that's the overall end goal is to raise the vibration of the earth. So if I want to get the success, I have to put in the work. I have to record it. I have to edit it. You know? And I use them together to reach my goals. That's how it works with energy and vibrations in general. So if you send out love, then love will come back to you. Bro, tell them about your music. This is your opportunity, bro. I don't know shit about music. Bro, let me put it on fisheye mode, though. That shit looks sick. Hello, 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 hello. I don't really know what the fuck I'm supposed to talk about. Music. I have big fucking plans for music. What I plan to do is... I'm gonna fucking take over Taylor Swift's selves. And I don't wanna- I don't wanna be mean, you know? I'm not trying to, like, be negative about it. But... 
I'm gonna take over, man. I wanna fucking, I wanna do big things. And my competition ain't really that fucking big. I have low, low competition right now, and I wanna do my, I wanna do my best. I gotta think real quick before I talk like a dumbass. Stir up the fucking well for now. I'm not trying to be cocky, and I'm not saying that I'm trying to be all fucking dominant over everyone. I don't, I don't want to do all that. I just want to, I want to give people something good to look up to. This fucking heater feels nice on my toes. Oh my God. But I feel like I'm a good guy. I feel like I'm fucking good. I've spread enough good. Cheers. Mm. Dude, I, I fucking heated up my feet. You heated up your feet? And I just stepped in some shit, too. What? All I know is I'm gonna try my best. And if people don't like me, I don't give a fuck. I didn't plan on it. I mean, I did. What the fuck am I talking about? Don't want my fucking feet. Yeah, man. I don't know what I even said. Because I keep just getting lost. Dude, don't worry. I'll edit you up real good. I'm a fucking beast at chopping shit up. I got chocolate on my teeth. Yo, water, bro? Tell your mama to come over so she can lick it out. Please. No, I'm playing. So, man. What's up? Like, I always feel like I need to do something, man. I don't know if that's just me. I just feel like I need to be doing something in this you moment do, that bro. is going to be progressing. You do, bro. What can we do that will progress us? Both of us? Record us making a song on Bamblin. The thing is, since you're a musician, bro, just focus on the music, bro. Play some guitar. For real. It's facts. I got a pew, though. It's the best piss I had in my life. It's the Tang Trick Mysticism of Tibet is a practical guide to the theory, purpose, and the techniques of Tang Trick Meditation. Would you think I need studio musicians to get big? No, bro, not at all. You, I think I could, you, do you think I could make it on BandLab and make it sound good quality as long as I... Per it doesn't even have to sound professional to be good. Like, the reason people like my videos is because they're authentic, not because they're, like, really good. You know what I'm saying? I need another ear, man, because I'm sitting here with all my shit debating if I need to hire motherfuckers. I feel you, bro. You it's weird you. being creative without another, like, yeah, outlook. I was high, and I heard these fuckers on the roof. I would have thought some fucking giraffes were going in and out of the fucking building, and I had, like, a second story floor to this motherfucker, but I don't. And I'm gonna let you go. The boys yeah, hanging man. out. What kind of jobs are out here? <laughs> like none. besides labor. Yeah, none. They like, just all labor jobs. This shit smells interesting. Anything here in Carson? Uh, you guys go? I don't think I'd want to work anywhere except for like Jiffy. It's a good How one. motivated are you feeling, bro? Huh? How motivated are you feeling? Extremely. If I give you like 20 bucks, would you help that guy shovel this roof that he's shoveling? Which roof? Is he doing it for free or is he getting paid? Oh, sh fuck no. He's getting paid for it. Yeah, right? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> if it was like an old man that had to, then I would help him. I'm sure he's motivated enough. Yeah, but then why did I help him? Because you're a good guy. Yeah, dude. Maybe I'm just a bad guy. I don't think so. You aren't worried about him ruining the roof, too? I'm ruining it? Nah. Your boy. I was about to be pretty fruity. That's what just I one hit, bro. Yeah, take bro. Two hits. Bro, I'm good. Don't bitch out. Take I, two hits. I smoked twice. He doesn't know the puff puff pass, man. I got expelled in eighth grade because I fucking it was being eight, and so like we were hanging out in the bathroom, and he's like, dude, bro, I brought matches. I'm like, cool. <laughs> and, uh, and he's like, dude, check this out. And like he like takes the paper towel dispenser and he's like dumping it out into the sink because it was like by the sink. He's like, dude, we should like start a fire in the bathroom. So we like lit these fucking paper towels on fire. It didn't like burn on the bathroom, but it was just like a major fire in the sink. And like, fucking this kid, like Ronald Blackburn, I remember a little fucking narc. Like, there was something in the, there was like a third person in the bathroom, like he guards the door. Ronald like pushed it open and saw the fire. He's like, eh. 
and like fucking <laughs> ratted us out and then they're like we're gonna give you like arson charges and we're like dude like nothing actually got damaged we just like literally burned paper towels in the sink so like we hit high school his dad was like he was a cop for like sacramento he was a scientist of some sort on the side and did but he had all these chemicals and shit in the garage and like different elements and stuff and so i remember one day like dude nate comes to school he's like dude check this out bro and he had like this big old vial like it was fucking massive and it was full of mercury so like at room temperature it's like a liquid and like you can like roll it around on your hand but it's hella poisonous like, if you had a cut in your hand like it would just suck into it like and fucking kill you like it's fucking uh so nate's like dude chuck this shit out bro i got mercury and he's like rolling it around in his fucking hand and like like playing with it on the picnic tables and shit because we had like a little lunch picnic table area mercury is like a very like highly regulated like substance like it's it's an it's an environmental disaster really. like Jesus if you fucking God, this kid is like and so, tossing it and so we're like like tossing around fucking mercury and shit and he's like dude he's like we should put some in the payphone and see what happens like pours the mercury into the fucking like quarter slot it just like spills out of the fucking payphone and like drips into the fucking ground <laughs> and starts sucking into the soil which is also like a very big problem dude and so like somebody fucking saw him do this and like dude like they literally like like so he got like suspended for like fucking weeks bro but they had to like they had to call in a crew like with like excavators and shit and like dig out the ground like they took out the payphone and dug like literally like an eight foot deep pit it was like 20 feet wide just to like get all the contaminated what? soil. What? Yeah. <laughs> like to get all the contaminated Dude, soil. Like, what would happen if it was in there? The they literally dug like an entire pit out of the ground. I guess Nate's family had to like partially pay for that. Do you remember on the bus when they thought I had a grenade? Oh yeah, dude. I was what? fucked up. I was